It's Tabletop Time. I'm Jazza. I'm Dave. I'm Jen. I'm Rob. Cyberpunk Chapter 2, people. Ooh. Ooh. Opening plug, Patreon supports us. So does Twitch and Twitter. There's a list of social stuff. Go check it out. It's Let's play some stuff. tabletop role playing. <laughs> oh, Cogent yeah. roleplay. I haven't co- plugged Cogent enough. Mm. I feel like we need to remember to plug Cogent roleplay. What's role Cogent roleplay? Cogent roleplay is the free and easy and flexible, but in empowering, exciting rule system we use. I'm biased. I co-created with Shad of Shadiversity, <gasps> who is my brother. But go to cogentroleplay.com to hey, check you it out. Are you two brothers? We are. No. Wow. It's like a thing. It is. <laughs> It's totally a thing. <laughs> all right, let's jump into it. I think we're all keen to see where the story goes. All right. mm. So last session. Last time. On last up. time on <laughs> reboot.execute. So we had Sebastian Allen, the bespoke city folk, come down researching the people of the Ven, which is the area that basically divides the slums from the city, and uh, forcibly met up with Pro Digi, a... Uh, hacker on the run, I guess you'd call him, uh, and has kind of arranged with a temporary arrangement to see where things go. Uh, and currently, Pro's sort of adopted nurse bot, Eve, is just along for the ride. Pro, have you done your stretches for today? I don't, Jesus. I don't. It's a different day, I'm assuming. You will develop. It's the same day. Tunnel. Oh, I had to describe. This is something I, I wanted to describe. Yeah, so where are what's you are on? now in? The reason you didn't want this place is this is basically like your last bolt hole. Your current headquarters, I guess, for Pro, is a cramped air conditioning unit, uh, basic like maintenance chamber that is maybe three meters across by one meter wide with a ladder that goes up to a hatch on the roof and escapes and you have like one corner where there's no air conditioning units that's got like all your comp set up that you and eve are hastily putting together um it is like you are living somewhere people shouldn't live basically now nice and um we at the last session ended up with seb uh and you realizing that you required some Mm -hmm. of that uh, very important uh, immune suppressant drug fusion for your cybernetic fusion. implants. And right. Seb has a plan, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Seb, was it? Yep. All right. We're getting set up, and uh, I think I have some contacts that might be of help. But in the meantime, I need some fusion. So, you said you're a man of connections. What can you do for me? <clears throat> Well, I know there's somewhere in the city where we'd be able to get some fusion pretty easily. I've seen many people getting access to it quite quite quickly. Yeah, that's not going to happen because we're not getting in the city. And we're not going into the city, so... The outskirts of the city, where, where we are now. Not in the city city. I in the van. a pharmacy or a hospital. <laughs> Eve, I don't think it works like that. <sighs> Look, I've got three days. I tell you what, we need to strike something of an understanding between us. Because I don't think we have that yet, let's be honest. I would agree. I don't know what you need or what you want. And yet you have asked me, what do I want most in the world? Mm -hmm. I have a lot to think about, because that's a big question. But I can get you your answer, and maybe the answers you're looking for, because obviously you've found me to give them, if you can get me some fusion. I'm gonna set up, have a think about it, and we'll see where we can go. But you hook me up with that, I'll see if I can get some people and answers together for you. I think we can find the right place, but I'm not sure if I'm the person that should be heading in there. Someone of my stature is going to stand out a bit more. All right, well, tell me what we can do. Come back to me in a few hours. I've got a bit of saying up to do. I go set up my computer. Cool. Are you happy to leave them be for a few hours? Yeah. All right. Well, I guess you can. Can I go scout out that place that we mentioned earlier? Okay. So you head off and scout out. Make a perception check as you sort of, it's probably only a couple of blocks away. Um, Was this mentioned in the last episode or just? This was mentioned privately between Rob and myself. Okay. All right. What's my challenge level? The challenge level for this is challenge level three. One. Ooh. Can I get a stat oh. check on one success out of seven dice, please? <laughs> What's the percentage chance of that? Dang. Um, 
choice. So you head to the area you recognize, and um, it's basically a large uh, razor wire topped fence around what was obviously an old mechanics workshop. There's a bunch of wrecked cars in the front. No one has much use for them anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, Cars are not really used uh, in the slums uh, for a whole bunch of reasons. The largest one being that um, non-electric cars have been outlawed and electric cars are more for the inner city. The outer suburbs, people A, can't afford them, B, they get jacked and destroyed. Like some people have them, of course, like gangs and stuff, but it's not a thing that people have in common anywhere. Most people stick to their immediate city area. Um, So yeah, there's a bunch of them. And all you notice is that there is a sort of uh, hood up headphones in figure um, sitting across the road from the area, like the entrance, but that's it. Are any street kids around? Um, You'd guess from the size of the hooded figure that they are a street kid. Oh, can I approach the street kid? Sure. Okay, so you cross. Um, You, yeah, cross across the road. And approach. Do you just walk straight up to them? Yeah. Let me make a little trick of my own. A little tricky trick. Just going to roll some dice. Mm. Oh, he's got the big one. Oh, no, he's got lots of little ones. My bad. Oh. Cool. As you approach, um, the kid seems to be whistling to themselves, and it's kind of like a sweet tune. Do um, I recognise it? You don't recognise it. It seems like they've kind of made it up themselves, and their head is bobbing from side to side. Uh, and all you can see as you get closer that pops out is that they have both their legs are cybernetic, um, but clearly misfitting and ill-shapen, uh, and they're not a matching pair. They're industrial refurbished, and one arm as well. Um, Climber? Sorry? Climber? Yeah. Given the age, you doubt it. They look to be about 12 or 13. Um and you see, all you can see is this mess of like black curly hair swept down in front coming out of the hood and like a little bit of bobbing from side to side as you get close. Well, I'd, walk, I'd like to walk up right in front of them so they can't miss me. Like if I'm standing in front of them facing them, they're not going to ignore me if they're listening to music. Cool. Um, basically just be like, how did a kid like you get access to tech like that? These soulful brown eyes look up at you and there's just like, pain in them and um you realize that you're looking at a a young girl and she just looks at you and she says no way you'd care to find out at a closer look you notice as well that around the perimeter where the cybernetics are attached it's inflamed uh there is clearly infection and she doesn't look well she's got like a fever to her skin okay well i'm assuming it's withdrawals is my character going to be smart enough to realize that um Hmm. What will we use for a medicine check, eh? Some so kind of scholar. Survival? You can, yeah. It could be a survival or just a straight yeah. up intelligence. I would say we'll use survival. Survival check. Side of hand to like feel the forehead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> two. two. Two successes. I should have said a CR. I probably would have said who again that is it's fine sometimes it's 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 fairly basic um yeah so for this one it would be how deep you realize what you get um you are pretty sure from watching the people in the area that this looks like stage one withdrawal uh, not withdrawal stage one like lack of fusion injection this Mm -hmm. person is not having adequate fusion or perhaps they're um what do you call it uh they're limiting their amount like they have a they're scarce using only a portion of the appropriate dose so to stretch out longer. their their amount yeah hmm some uh nasty rejection infections you got going on there is there anything i can do to, to help with that do you have a connection for fusion i want to see your general disposition with a destiny roll hmm. she looks at you and her eyes sort of widen what did you roll an 18. 18. Okay. She looks at you and her eyes sort of widen as she realizes that you're bespoke and you're here talking to her. And then she's just like, you're city folk. Do you got fusion? Uh, no, but I am on the lookout for it and have the resources to purchase it if you know someone. Yeah, I might know someone. Make a persuasion check. Ooh. can do it. We believe in you. Yeah, you can totally do it. 
What's one, the two, three, oh, it's against four, their... five, six. What was the CL? Six. Well, a it's CL either a CL or, they re- or there's a resistance. It's a resistance check oh, because... Yeah. Um, <coughs> so you scored six? Six, six successes. Very nice. Yeah, so it's an opposed check against right. the, her perception. Yeah, yep. She's trying to hold on to the information, which she doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> she got two. She says, you look like you got deep pockets. And if you're going to score me some for the tip, and she just points her finger straight across the lot at the building that's sort of like the old dilapidated repair shop. And she says, I'm a lookout for Ugly. He can hook you up. I've never met the man. Do you want to be uh, our go-between? <laughs> I don't want to get close to that bastard. He's the one who put me in this situation. Why don't you just hook it up for me? Mm. Tit for tat. Here's the tit. You walk in there. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) You made it weird. We all would have rushed over that. You walk in there and you say Songbird sent you and you'll be let in without trouble. I nod and walk off. Cool. She watches you as you walk away, the whole way you walk away. And then I guess... Where is a way? Are you walking to Uglies or are you coming back to us? Screw it. Let's go to Uglies. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Just just save it off and just say, here's the (laughs) tip. You sure you don't want to? Sure you don't want to go with everyone? I was no, just going to. It's no, fine. No, do what it. your character would do. Yep. Yeah. No, go for it. Okay. He's pretty he's, brave. He's confident. He is he's confident. Jeez. So you walk in the doors. Uh, you sort of weave your way through these wreckage things, and you get into a miserable-looking, del- like abandoned, rusty workshop. Um, and there's a, a car that's just trashed out on a on a lift. Um, and there's just a basic looking cheap model of drone standing there um, whose head sort of tilts to you as you walk in and it like visibly and its head tilts as you walk in. Hello. Hi. How, how, how can I help you today? Uh, Songbird sent me. Uh, understood and he just lifts up his arm he he's holding the like remote for the car lift and he lifts up his arm and then just boop and the car lift goes and lifts up Mm -hmm. and underneath you can see that they have like cut down into the ground and there's a spiral staircase of like iron steps that just go down under the ground it's pretty cool love it cool 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 do you head in yeah go for it (laughs) As you start to descend the steps, the soft beat of, like, bar music starts to play. And uh, you probably think you descend about one floor underground. You'd only be basement level. Uh, And you walk into a excavated but clearly uh, furnished and furbished uh, secret room, effectively. It's a large room about the size of any average bar. Um... And there's a whole bunch of characters in the room that you can see uh, various figures um, that could potentially draw your attention. Uh, I guess I'll get you to make a perception check. You're looking for ugly, I presume? I mean, I'd assume so, but, you know, I think if anybody stands out, I'd be interested in five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Nice. So oh God, you the scan the room mm-hmm. and there are there are two guys sitting at a table who are just open carrying 12 gauge shotguns, uh, like old school uh, modern firearms by our standards. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're in dusters and they've got like Aussie uh, Outback hats on, Akubra. leaned in, to- yeah. Akubra's leaned in. Um, there is a absolute brick, an absolute unit of a man leaning up against a wall who is, you would say, seven foot tall, but most seven foot tall people are like lanky he's as broad as not literally but he's built massively yeah. he's in a big duster and he also has a, a Aussie Akubra hat down he's got like a dry as a bone with the pop collar <laughs> and he has like, this massive gas mask on the front of his face he's standing in the corner of the room um, you spot there's this there's this fit girl like really really uh, built girl who is uh, leaning against the wall wearing a blue leather jacket with a motorcycle helmet on 
Um, and she has this horrible, like, looking claw hand, cybernetic, that's just glinting in the light. She's kind of flicking it and holding a beer in the other hand. Um, and every now and then she puts the beer up and, like, pops the top of her motorcycle helmet, shoves it in, drinks it. Um, you also notice a... Uh, behind the bar, there is a uh, sort of chubby, muscly... muscly um, uh, Asian guy behind the bar with like really long hair that's out and loose and he seems to have this real cool like he thinks he's awesome vibe going on he's got like a pistol in a holster but the one who draws all your attention is in the far corner of the bar there is a um, just gorgeous man like very attractive man uh, he is clearly a bespoke you can tell immediately that he's a bespoke and he's sitting there um, he's got his shirt off he's wearing like torn jeans and that's it uh, there is a like ridiculous modern corp tech pit like semi-automatic pistol on on the thing next to him uh, he's got no cybernetics obviously and uh, he's currently sitting there with a what looks like a robot or a drone next to him that's just live tattooing at like double speed <laughs> down his arm and um, you can see on his other arm that hasn't been done where the tattoo ink from you assume the previous day is like bleeding out of his skin and he's just like got a towel and just wiping it out of his skin and you get the impression he probably gets this done every single day, like a fresh load of tattoos for the next day. Because as a bespoke, he just pushes out. They just get pushed <laughs> out of their skin. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and he's just sitting there gritting. It, not even he's <clears throat> completely nonplussed by it. You have a feeling that's ugly. Can I walk up to the bar and the Asian bartender? Mm-hmm. Cool. You head on up. Uh, he looks at you, and um, he's like. What can I do for you? Hey. And you can tell he's putting on a cool voice. Like he's putting that <laughs> voice on. He's like, hey, what do you what do you want? Uh, the guy in the corner, what's his poison? What, ugly? <laughs> sure. Uh, motor, uh, gasoline, anything that'll hit the sides. Uh, he's a bespoke. It doesn't fucking touch him. Let's get a couple of rounds of that. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes over to basically like 90 per, like 90 percent alcohol and just like moonshine and just pours like a pint of moonshine and slides it across the table. And he's just like, I haven't seen one of your kind around here for a while, you know? Barring him, obviously. No, he runs the place. I said two. You only serve one. <laughs> and he's like, right, right you are, mister. And then he just pours another one. Um, he asks for an appropriate amount of currency that you can easily pay being that you are a yeah. commerce level five. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and he hands you these two glasses of effectively moonshine. Cool. Pint glasses of them. All right, so I pick them both up and I walk towards Ugly. Cool, cool. Yeah. Ugly doesn't regard you as you walk over. Mm -hmm. He's just... Ignoring you, leaning down, looking at his tats. Oh, I'm going to put the drink in front of him and sit down in front of him, if I can. If there's a seat in front of me, I'm not going to sit on the floor. <laughs> cool. Just clarifying that point. As, as the <laughs> drinks plunk down. Legs crossed on the floor. <laughs> as the drinks plunk down, he does look up at you at that point. And he just says, You got balls. Yeah, well... I need information and you're the best source of it as far as I can tell. Um, so I will say from this point, you recognize that he's probably the best bespoke job you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And you're a good bespoke job, but he is pushed up in every area that like, he seems quick. He seems he's muscular. It's just kind of like crazy that but coming from the upper crust of society. Is there any like genetic resemblance resemblance that I might be able to pick up? Ooh, yeah, it's okay. a good question. Um, Jesus, man, you're like bam, yeah, bam, bam. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is fun to watch. You just guys keep just going. <laughs> yeah, Seb's just like I don't need these two. I'm going to make the deal. On yeah. My own. All right, you so, got this campaign, man. Just go for so it. So, do you want to use a vocation for that, or are we going to use uh, probably like just your perception? Or I was going to say perception. Yeah, because I don't really have a perception. I don't think fine. scholar would help. Depends on the circles he swings in. <laughs> Can I assist one? No, um, no, no. We'll, we'll go. We'll go perception. The the challenge rating for this is also five. Um, you could. It's at seven. Destiny, yeah. One, two, three. Ah. Devo. 
you are aware that he doesn't, spe- he specifically doesn't look like anyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's quite possible that he was made not in their image. Like, interesting. Like, it could have been two parents who had means, but maybe didn't particularly find themselves appealing and made their ideal child rather yeah, okay. than their own. Yeah, I guess that's the, the, the bonus of being able to pick what they look like. Mm-hmm. They don't have to look like you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I mean, has he responded to my sentence? Uh, remind me again what it was. Uh, I said that you seem like the person that has information. So I came to you basically. I think that's what it's something like that. Yeah, yeah. And what do you want to know? Well, I have a few questions. I'm on the hunt for some information regarding um, a certain group of people. Uh, but before that, th- there's some business I'd like to get down to if, you, if you're willing. Um, what could you possibly offer me? Well, I feel like you, you don't have much need for money given the setup you've got here. You'd be right. Hmm. Uh, there's, there's a group I'm with now that I think could offer assistance in, in various other means, uh, if if the business was uh, worth it. A group, you say? A group you're with that you met an hour ago, I'll you sly bastard. Just, I, I, know, <laughs> I know of your skills. And, <laughs> and uh, You're a robot. That's good, man. And where yeah. is this army of companions that you've got? No, they're around. They're not here. Well, I can see that. Mm. So, what do they offer? Uh, One of them has a set of skills that I think you could find really useful. You'd be surprised how many bases I've already got covered. I'm sure. But can you ever have too many people working for you that are uh, very high skilled? Depends how much they cost, mate. Hmm. Well, this person I'm pretty sure is also after something that you might be able to provide. Uh, But I guess it's it's dependent on, on what type of deal we strike, really. Well, I'm still waiting for the deal. What would you like for a month's worth of, oh my God, I blanked on the name. Fusion. 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 Yeah. What would I like for it? Yeah. What's, what's a good trade for a month's worth of fusion? Around here. Oh, fusion's pretty tight, you know. There's a lot of people under my personal employ. Yeah, but I've been needed. seeing a lot of people come in and out of this building for the last few weeks. Uh, they they, got, they've ran me dry, haven't they? It's at a premium right now. Somehow I find that hard to believe. (sighs) Look, here's the thing, mate. Do you know how many people come in here? You know, pretty faces, shiny asses, whatever you want. This is a persuasion. It will be. Yeah. It's getting there. Yeah. You've just asked that question. Can I check my notes and tell him exactly how many people I spotted walking in and out? Yeah, yeah, sure. And you you tell him, but it's probably been like in the last three weeks, there's probably been like 12 people come through that have actually cut left with Fusion. Hmm. And he, he's just like, all right, convince me. And that'll be a persuasion check. Persuasion versus perception. You're not Who's gonna That's my <laughs> <laughs> uh, You persuade first. One, two, three, four. Five. That's a good roll. It is a good roll. My my basis for my character being persuasive is the fact that he's a scholar, so he has to argue all of his work. Whoa! One, two, three, four, Whoa. five, six. Mm-hmm. Could you burn a destiny? Have you ever seen a dice pool that big? That was a big. You know what? Yeah. Can I burn a destiny point for the victory? I know that ties us. Are you supposed to be? No, able to burn tie goes there? to the perception. Yeah, tie oh, goes to the person yeah, who doesn't. Yeah, perception want to be wins a tie. And he smile. He smiles at you with your offer, and then he says, "Tell you what, if you can prove that you've actually got a crew, and you bring them in here to me, we'll talk again." <laughs> but I'm telling God, you, God, you've set the expectations, haven't I you? I have so many people who come in here thinking they've got something I want. I need to see it, mate. Simple as that. Counter offer. Give us a job. And if we do it, I'll come back. No, 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 no. I need to see who's working for me. I need to meet who's working for me. But then you've got the liability there. What if we get caught? You're the connection. The less people that know. <laughs> I am worried about getting caught, mate. I'm ugly. No one cares. I do what I want in That's this town. Answer. I can't really dispute that. <laughs> Damn. Now go on, mate. And then he grabs you. <laughs> he grabs the pint of moonshine and he just goes poof, and just like open necks it. 
He, uh, what's the prime minister that used to do that? The drink, the Bob Hawke. Bob Hawk. He Bob he? Hawks a thing of a pint of moonshine. Not bad. And then um, just like slams it on the table and just stares at you. Do you do the same? Keep the spare. No, I walk off. <laughs> I ain't gonna try that. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not gonna get me drunk, and it probably tastes like shit. It's true. Right. Mm. It might get you drunk, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You leave, or do you linger for a bit? Gonna go find your gang. Yeah, I'll go outside. I'm gonna look for Songbird. Songbird? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, look back for Songbird. across the road for Songbird. Cool. She's sitting there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You, follow me. No. Do you want your fusion? Uh, do you... Do you want your fusion? I don't want a fourth fucking arm. Do you want your fusion? Not enough to leave my post, all right? Hmm. He's trying to recruit a fourth. Remember when... It, just did, like any she, random straggler she, off the street. You, yeah, there. Like, she just, person arms. throwing up in the gutter. She Come with me. In. I've got a crew. <laughs> And you're one of them. <laughs> she just goes, remember when I said I was a lookout for ugly? Yeah, I can't leave till he says I can leave. So when do you get off your shift? Midnight. Hmm. Meet me here. And then I give him the address. Midnight. Give yeah. them the address? Okay. Jesus I Christ. I shit that you're hiding from people. I do oh. agenda. Damn. You leave her mm -hmm. and I'm going to destiny roll to see if I she's I respect the to like. Ooh. Bam. Okay. okay. Oh, good. So you're heading back to the- You head back to yeah, join the other members of the party. Yeah. All right. Meanwhile, uh, the setup's just been set up. Um, I guess I've just, yeah, reconnected everything, re you know, set up security and blah, 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 because I had anticipated that I'd be holding up in here for another while, mm -hmm. avoiding outside eyes. And uh, in the last session, when you sort of mentioned that I know someone called ugly, blah, 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 was that mm. to me? I've moved it to, it was to Seb. So I don't know. You've heard the name. <laughs> they're a broker and like, they're basically the neutral territory of this part of the Ven. Okay. So <clears throat> then he, he doesn't represent a gang. He's kind of above. I mean, he really technically is a gang, but he presents himself as, okay. he doesn't. Tell you what I do. The he's the broker. He's the merchant. Knowing my motivations, uh, I want to track where those people were who were outside the previous place to see where they're at and, and where they might be lurking. And if they're on my tail or, yeah, that's okay. The, that's what I want to see. So uh, Head on out and we'll make a perception check. Head on out or like, use my computers? Oh, yeah, okay. Use your computers. We'll make a... They're still probably part of the network, those particular cameras, if you haven't moved them. So I'm happy to just let you make a perception check to view through the cameras. You don't have to hack anything. I want to, I want to, well, I can or view through those cameras, but networks. I want to use those to find a path to reach other networks to see okay. where they're going. So we'll get, I'll get you to make an infiltration check to Great. basically, Great. I'm going to, probably the networking in this area <laughs> of the van is really bad. So it's probably only C, uh, CL, I'm going to say it's still CL3 because it is a specialized task to hack camera networks, but it's only three. Okay, cool. And I succeed. Cool. So you basically going through the footage of where they have been. Yeah, finding systems to follow the, just sort of basically find a trace of, of where they're going and where I need to avoid okay. and all that cool. stuff. Cool. Um, you see them head north and they kind of weave through some areas until they leave. The, the areas of the van are broadly broken up into like blocks that are controlled by gangs and they actually leave your block and head into the northern block. Uh, and they move on through and they enter a club in that district. Cool. Called the Glass Slipper. All right. No, dude. Cool. Uh, I, yeah, that's the sort of thing I would have been doing until, uh, until Seb gets back. Seb arrives. <coughs> what, what is Eve, uh, what is Eva doing? Or Eve? Oh, just helping set up, um, <coughs> and change some things around. What do you know but, of um, ugly? Over just so pushes in. Okay. <laughs> I'm just doing robot things in the corner. Yeah, I was about to do something really cool. That's, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. I hold out a USB. I say, bro, I have a joke for you. Would you like to hear it? I, you know, I love your jokes, Eve. Uh, go for it. I like the way you work it, pro diggity. 
You better back it up. I hand you the USB. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. I take <laughs> I take the USB and like some classical music references. <laughs> Good job. Classic. <laughs> well done, Eva. Seb, so, oh, you were back. How was your trip? <laughs> Can I just that that you was real, that questions. was really worth just like <laughs> put that I've needed been to go about in there. The car for like a week. <laughs> it's like it's like the Google Home companion. Oh. <laughs> go for it. Frustrating. What do you know of ugly? I'm facing away, typing and hacking and camera ring and all this stuff, and I'm like. What do you want to do about ugly? <laughs> like the, you mean, and I sort of look over my shoulder, you mean like the ugly, right? Yes. Not much. What do you, why are you asking about ugly? Well, he's the connection for the fusion, but he uh, wants to meet us before he can agree to give it to us. <sighs> what does he want from me? What if you, did you go to ugly? Yes. Jesus, dude. <laughs> All right, well, I got to respect the fact that you just go where you need or want to, but uh, I don't, I was going to say I don't need or want to go to Ugly, but he mentioned fusion, so I sort of need to, even though I don't want to. Hmm. What'd you talk about? Just ask him what he needed in, uh, in return for the fusion. And what'd he say? Well, he said he might have some work for us and then he'd be willing to trade, but he wants to meet our crew before we get started. What does he want in the trade? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. What's he looking for in us? Good question. Well, the way I see it, there's me. I know things. And there's you. You can do things. Yeah. And then there's Eve. Eve. Now, I'm just putting this out there, and no offense, Eve, not that you can get offended. Uh, I can't imagine we're going to make a great impression just walking into Ugly's place like it's ugly. I've heard of him and his crew. You have a direct invite. Yeah. Bro. They're going to laugh us out the room. Are you fucking kidding me? No, he said we, he wanted to meet again, so we've got an, we've got an in to get in there. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. We need to make wow. an impression, though. Well, I can do that. Mm -hmm. What kind of impression? Something big. Something that shows our potential. Okay. Interesting. Let's let's walk and talk. I grab. My mm -hmm. essentials, yep. my equipment essentials. I know I need fusion in the next three days. Mm. I'm dead. Man, imagine if you could get onboard computing and all those kind of cybernetics at some stage. That'd really help you. You'd love that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's something you should aim for, maybe, Just a, if yeah. you want it. That's a thought. The two, the two things, onboard computing <clears throat> is basically you, you can, like, using haptic controls, you can do all your hacking with your brain. It's a chip yeah. set up in your brain. Yeah. And then if you wanted to replace your eyes, get them melon balled out, yeah. um, you can get discrete ocular bionics, which means you can actually have it wired directly into your brain and there's no... Po so with onboard computing, you need, like, glasses to wear that then it all comes up in. Yeah. Like Seb looks like he's got, but yeah. he's just got cool glasses and the eyes. He's got cool glasses. Anyway, sorry. Just thought uh, I'd talk about some cool things you could aim to get that could help you be a cool hacker. <laughs> all right. I already am a cool hacker, though, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're heading over to Uglies. I'm, uh, I thought we were going to set something up before we went to Uglies. Well, I said we'll walk and talk. I've got everything I need to make a show. We just need to talk about what kind of show we need to make. Okay. So we're walking. <clears throat> so, listen, I know you're not the one to expound on all the details but tell me about what you expect an arrangement might be and what i actually need to do because i don't want to be involved in this more than i absolutely have to well he's a resourceful man so there can only be a few things he wants and i figure a, a crew capable of accomplishing his deeds is probably the best bet for you to get what you need and for me to well get what you need so you can tell me what i need so we need, we need to figure out what he needs so we can do what we need to do what he needs so we can... There's a lot of needs in Nailed here, it. and I'm really unclear on what any of them are. You just need to do what you do best. 
break shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's our plan. We go in invited to see Ugly, which, by the way, wow, that's weird. And then you want me to break their shit. Can you break it before we get in there and trigger it when we're in there? I can do that. Hmm. Okay. We uh, approach the premises using back alley way paths and stuff. <clears throat> Is there any way for him to hack that droid out the front that opens the lift? Cool. Make stealth checks, guys, if you're approaching sneakily. Stealth oh, check. Were we approaching sneakily? He just said he, you were. Oh. Mine won't, my bonus two won't apply because they're not law enforcement, right? No, and not cameras, what was just looking for you. Yeah, okay. I'm not even going to try. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool, cool. Yeah, I got a good one for... Are we um, entering in the same way that... So you try and approach through back alleys. Like, you go mostly there through back alleys, but then you realise very quickly that the only way in is through the front gate because it's, like, razor wire and it's mm. all reinforced. Like, corrugated iron is, like, fastened to the... So you can't even climb it mm. sort of thing. Um, or cut through and climb through. Um, and, yeah, you swing there around the front. Uh, uh, not yet. Okay. I've got to prep stuff first. Yep. What time is it? <coughs> so before we swing around the front. After we made ugly is a really good time. No, but, I mean, like, uh, in the in game... game. What time? It's probably like nine at night or something. Okay. Is Songbird there? Yep. So you you uh, see me like reflexively because it like that my tech and my hacking is like my second nature. So I just like. Use well, I don't know. Device. I don't know the depth of your skills. I have an idea of your skills, but I don't know the depth of them. So yeah, I uh, I just I start my hacking my uh, anarchistic cybermancy i'm trying to break shit and i'm going to use a destiny roll against my with my check to give myself the advantage in doing this okay the plan being i want to essentially identify and like target everything that is electronic in the building and the path through the building while i'm doing this i'm asking seb about you know what he saw what was in the past blah 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 can he assist so are you can are you he hacking assist or my are you using cybermancy um, I would probably have to hack to get in, and then I'll probably have to use Cybermancy. No, Cybermancy is a combat proficiency. You can actively, you're an anarchistic Cybermancer. That basically means you have receptors and transmitters. You can like bulk shoot, like static. You can destroy things. Okay, I'm going to activate that when yep. I'm in there. Mm -hmm. I want to use my hacking check now to assist mm -hmm. my anarchistic Cybermancy when I'm in there. Okay. When I release it. So I'm a, yeah. So this is my hacking. Can Seb assist my hacking with his perception? Because I'm asking about all the stuff he saw. I'm asking about specific devices in the room, um, the kind of grades of things. I got equipment. a hell of a good perception check in the main room. Thought music. The problem is they're smart. And having open networks in a world of cyber, like... Oh, no, but that's... Hacking isn't, like, accessing open networks. Yeah, well, it, it is. It is, because is if it? the network is closed, you can't access it no matter how good a hacker you are. Like, if there's literally no way in from the out, there's no input, you can't break it. Um, but I did just roll an 18 on the Destiny Nice, so I'm going to say that there is, like, one or two... Maybe the bartender's got his Wi-Fi on his phone or something because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a dickhead. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's mobile hotspotting. So, yes, yeah, I'll let you assist with perception um, if you want to, to have spotted the bartender's hotspotted wi <laughs> Wi-Fi. I want to approach Songbird as well. Okay, so you guys are, like, yeah. preparing and you walk over to Songbird. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll make your roll. We'll do all... No, we'll do the rolling next. I'm gonna, yeah. We'll do this first. So, yeah. Eve approaches Songbird. Okay. Um... Can I tell that she's visibly hurt as well? Like Make a survival check. I hope you put proficiencies into that, given that that... Yeah, I yes, did. you did, because that covers medicine. Um, there's also character descriptions down below, by the way. In the tabs. What are they called? How old is she? Um, she looks about 12 or 13. Know. Can I use my child... My nursing assist? As an assist? Uh, if you'd like to, yeah. yeah. That's an extra two? No, so you roll an assist using nursing, which will be... Uh, I'll say oh, instead of? So you get seven dice Just grab the, for the assist roll. So you roll seven and then you add your successes over three. three. I, need, I need one of those sheets. Your next oh, I'll get my app. I'll get one, the app. Two, get three, the app. So you four, get five, three six. additional successes onto whatever you roll. 
And the challenge level for what are you trying to do with your? I just want to know um, how hurt is she? And I can, said the CR was three last time, so cool. Yep. And make, then can I um, administer her something like, to have morphine? Okay. So make your uh, make your survival check. Do you approach her? Is it like surely yeah, she's, she's walking up to her, but assessing but I'm her assessing with her, her oh, medical okay, yeah, like okay. knowledge. Extra three was it? No, no, no. So now you roll a full. Oh. Survival check, which is just seven dice again. But you add three wins. Automatic wins, not dice. Right. Okay, so you got five wins, so you have eight wins. Cool. Okay, so you approach. Mm -hmm. This character that you name you don't know, unless they said her name was Songbird, you see a 13-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. um, she has three major cybernetics, both legs and an arm. She is clearly suffering from stage one withdrawal symptoms of not having enough fusion. It does appear that she has been um, rationing her doses for a period of weeks by the look of it and has managed to delay that out. Uh, if she was actively using her cybernetics, that would ordinarily not work. It's generally considered rationing doses just doesn't really work, um, but she's clearly not particularly active. She seems mm -hmm. to like sit around a lot and not really use the limbs. Mm -hmm. um, and she is, uh, she has an infection in her arm. You can see that she has like open sort of sores there, but without, um, you could bandage wrap soothe, but without the administration of fusion, she will be on a path where you would anticipate given the level of her cybernetics. Um, if she doesn't get fusion within a week or probably a week, she'll be dead. Okay. You know that this, with, with the level of um, cybernetics she has, that this is the kind of rapid onset thing where now that it's infected, she'll probably go necrotic within like three or four days and she will probably die okay. within a week of that. So I'll approach her um, and say, child, what is your name? Who are you? What, 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 why are you? My name is Eve. Why are you here? I'm a medical bot. I can see that, but what are you doing out here? My senses tell me that you are... Oh, drop and dice. Floor dice. Um, are in great you need of assistance. You just rolled for Myself. Three. three successes for myself. Her perception <laughs> check. Um, you require fusion. Y yeah, but who do you work for? I turn and sort of like... Jester towards these guys. Great. We were hiding. I wasn't. Thanks. I wasn't. Jeez, guys. Oh. Come on. I'm trying to be subtle here. Do you, he wasn't, he wasn't bullshitting. May I assist you? Uh, what? How? Your arm. And it is clearly infected. Do you procure like something? I like. I'm assuming you would like have a like little, first aid equipment. Yeah, it's yeah. literally inbuilt into you, a bunch yeah. of it. So you get some bandages and stuff and start antiseptic. She just offers her arm in like shock. You imagine the, she's never even had someone come to administer medical attention to her in her life. So she's just like, kind of like, okay. And given the connection and how bizarre it is, she's just fine to let you do it. Also people are usually like, people just trust drones because they yeah. don't, they do what they're programmed to do and that's it. So mm. there's a few people who are suspicious of them. But anyway. Cool. So, you guys, make your rolls. All right. Uh, Rob, assist with perception first, please. Jeez. Nailed it. That was five. Two additional so wins. Two wins. <laughs> nice. Thank you. You're welcome. This is my hacking roll, and I get three. three. Plus two, five. so five. To hacking. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, you from outside managed to hack into the bartender's phone. <coughs> Um, and you basically have, uh, it's just on open Wi-Fi because he's an idiot. And you have pretty much full access to uh, any non-locked like apps and programs on his phone. Um, what would you like to look into or do with that information? Okay, so there's no access to anything in the room or anything. I actually know that I would like to, using the phone, turn on the mic, mm -hmm. turn on, like, basically soak it in and just give and i've got my headphones okay, and i'm just cool. like i'm not yeah. gonna live feed you everything that's happening in the room but i'll give you a gist of it uh, yeah. how long are you gonna like listen I'd, for? I'd probably do like every time anyone tries to interrupt me i'll just like stop them and i'm just like is there any way my fancy glasses has an audio feed sorry is there any way my character's fancy glasses have an audio feed uh probably it's not that 
unheard of. What I would like to know is what equipment you have, like a laptop, a portable. I, do, I would have brought a small laptop. Cool, I would cool. have my phone. I just have like as long as you have the equipment to do it. Yeah. So your cybermancy allows probably you have to like do some pouches of like cables and and clippers and. There's an anarchistic cybermancy thing that lets you hack. It's one of the different branches, but it's innate, so they can do it without equipment. You yeah. need equipment. So if you had that taken off, you couldn't do this. If you didn't have your computers, you couldn't okay. hack. Just so you know. Yeah. But um, cool. Okay. So um, how long did you say you were listening for? Sorry. I'd give it like fifteen. 20. Cool. Um, you hear a bunch of gang talk. Uh, you actually come up. Um, you hear Ugly talking to one of the other people. You can't really make out who it is because, of course, the mic is only so good and there's music in the room. Um, but Ugly's basically saying he doesn't think that you guys are going to come back and he reckons the um, little city folk are going to, like, basically all talk. Um, but he does have a job that needs to be done if they want to be tested. Uh, in terms of internal... You hear about a you know couple of shipments of things. You do hear fusion mentioned a few times. There's a new shipment of fusion that's arrived. Um, While I'm soaking all this in, I'm also reading through this dude's messages and like you know mm. <laughs> just sort of getting a feel for. Oh man, is he trying to pick up a lot? That's <laughs> okay. one of the things you get. Great, he thinks he's so, like a ladies' man. The one he's closest to hooking or who's playing him or whatever. Mm. I'm like soaking in all that information so, <laughs> so I can, uh, and then I. I uh, in whatever way is feasible, message him mm -hmm. from that person. Okay. So well, I did want to give you one more little tidbit because you did get a very good success is you hear um, the name of a pharmaceutical company. Uh, well, you don't actually hear the name of the company, but you hear them say that the pharmaceutical company's shipment has arrived, mm -hmm. which is very strange uh, because it's insinuated in the conversation you're over here that like basically it's a direct shipment from the pharmaceutical company okay that ugly has received okay of fusion um i actually before i message anything i say to seb okay so i've got i've got the gist of what they've been talking about nothing crazy but i also have access to the phone of the bartender i'm assuming you met when you were in there mm -hmm. we can message him uh you seem like a pretty canny guy and you also got the the gist of the crew so uh what do we do? Oh, and he's desperate. <laughs> so if we could use him as a pawn to set a few things up, I can make things go boom and fuzz out. But maybe you could help me line the, the dominoes so I could stack them, tip them. Can you send me a transcript of the audio? I just hold out one of my earbuds. Pass it over to you. No, like, like a reading transcript. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like assuming, at this, at this I'm point, assuming that's within the realm at this of point, I'm showing you all the stuff. Okay, yeah, and I'm like letting you in on the process. Mm -hmm. You guided me with the perception, so you were involved in getting in. So I'm showing you what I'm finding. All right. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm not sure how we can use it yet. if we need to move someone or distract someone what was in the room that we could you mentioned there was an entry drone yeah an entry drone controlling a, a lift that lifts up a, a car they're the easiest i look up to you guys oh yeah, hey, you finished you've... applying your medical attention. how you doing heal in the world yes that's my what Eve. are we doing I'm not quite sure. That girl requires fusion. You require fusion. We want to stay on his good side. So what can we do that will help him, but still show that we have the capability to be useful? What if we took the power away from him in a big way, but used it to put on a show? Like actually like stupidly entertain. I know it sounds corny, but if there's a way we can show we mean no harm by showing that we can do harm, that could be cool. Query, is it worth jeopardizing your chances of fusion? Why would that jeopardize it? He wants to know what we can do. We can put on a show. I trust you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he also insinuated that he directly just had a job for you to do. Yeah. <clears throat> Keep a connection, but secure the bartender's connection so that it isn't a vulnerability anymore. Okay. Hmm. Bleep, 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 yeah, you bleep, can do that. Bleep. You're owning his, you own his thing. Okay. So we're still connected, 
but the vulnerability that we exploited is gone. Yep. If there's any other vulnerabilities you find, close them as well. I do that. Cool, cool, cool. And I say we just walk in. All right, on we go. You walk in, the drone. So, just trying to think, I feel like there should be like- I should say, you don't think this is a drone. This is a robot at the entrance. It's not okay. a drone. There's no semblance of like okay. higher intelligence. I was gonna have a, like, I'm a assuming the bartender, <laughs> there would have been ambient music playing. You yeah, said yeah, there was there music was playing. Bar music playing. Was he like the DJ? Was it running off his like cyberpunk Spotify? No, he's app? basically just, uh, sure. You got a high destiny role before. Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so I'd set things up to on cue in, <laughs> I'll be like, we have about one minute. <laughs> in one minute's time, F Flight of the Valkyrie or something like really dramatic is going to play. And are there smart lights or anything in the room connected to the phone? No. <laughs> okay. All right. So <laughs> I, I say to Seb, all right, we'll make our way almost in. But before we enter, just wait my cue. We're going to use the, uh, the entry drone as well. And if Eve and they... It's a robot, not a drone. D drone, didn't I say, what did I say? You said drone, it's a robot. Yeah, this is a robot. It'll get confusing. This Isn't is just a robot at the entrance. Okay, is, but that's like, that's so, just like a level under drone. Drone has no, similar no, intelligence. intelligence to a human and the ones that player characters play have basically gone rogue and they're now sentient. Okay. Drones are just very programmed, complex, intelligent machines. Robots are like five levels below. Like this, this robot is like Alexa. Like if you say like, how's it hanging? The robot will be like, uh, didn't understand, didn't understand yeah. query, like that kind of thing. Whereas a, any drone, no matter whether they're sentient or not, would have the intelligence to like know yeah. what you're inferring. So as we enter, as we enter, I have no idea how this is gonna go. As we enter, we walk up to that robot I want to like tap into it to be like, to, to, I want to use my anarchistic cybermancy to remove the uh, barriers that would stop it doing anything but its function so I can reprogram it to give us an entry call. So essentially. you being an anarchistic cybermancer completely lack the capability of doing that. So your, your particular tree of cybermancy is all about breaking things. Okay. So you can't, a jacker is one of the other cybermancers. They could definitely take okay. control. Gotcha. Um, but what you could do, so an example is like CR3, overload old or simple electronics to the point of failure. For the example of like to make, uh, Cause sig CL6, cause significant okay. electrical malfunctioning Change technological of plan. device. So, Change yeah. of plan. I say to the robot, can you take me uh, in? I I, uh, I need your company. <laughs> in response Follow me. Le lead the way. In response to you, it says, he 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 hello, can I help you? Yeah, Ugly to told us uh, to get you to... to uh, we have a, Ugly we have wants to see you. We have a meeting. For robot stuff. W would you like your car repaired? We are closed. Go see Ugly now. W Do it. Closed. Songbird sent us. Beep. The thing, the car lifts up and the thing goes down. Lead the way. <laughs> it just stands there holding the thing. I like, can I like move it to lead the way? Um, Make a strength athletics check to try and move it. This will be CL5. Really? Four, four. Okay. What's he trying to do? I'm trying to get it to He's walk in first. He's trying to make this thing walk. I want to. Bl I want the, to get this thing to walk in the middle of the room, blow mm -hmm. it to shit. We're at the peak of Eve, <laughs> Flight of the Valkyrie, and shut down shit in the room. Just boom. <laughs> and I, then like. I don't think I'm okay right. with this. Make your make your roll to attempt to make it move. <laughs> CL four. Okay. It's you said strength or reflex. Athletics. Athletics. Uh, it's a fi you're physically forcing it. I don't have. You could four. use grip or grapple if you wanted. You don't have either. No. Have fun with that. All right. Cool. Wow. One success. You push against it and it is just like hard and fast. You reckon this thing weighs like 200 plus kilos and is like firmly it's not like moving. It's in place. It's, it's, <laughs> its legs actually look like they're seized. Okay. In fact, you've noticed the whole time it's kind of tilted off to one side and just doing its arm. There's the nothing thing. else in my immediate vicinity I could use to this effect. To get it down the stairs? It doesn't look like it's capable of All walking. Right, I'm just going to have to do, I'm going to have to just improvise to the music. Down we go. Okay, so you head on down. 
All right. Where All like, of you head on down. Where moments Does it away. have to be Flight of the Valkyrie or Ride of the Valkyrie? Is that your choice? <laughs> and if you... <laughs> you listen to music that's like at that point 200 years old. Yeah, it's a classic. And have you... 100 years old, right? Or no, no, okay. closer to 200, I reckon. Um, so you get down there. Is it in sync with your music going off when you arrive? I feel like, yeah, I feel like it would be building mm-hmm. <laughs> to the point where when it's about to crescendo, we enter, we exit the lift doors and walk into the audience where they're probably starting to be like, this isn't the playlist. Someone from across the bar cringes, like in his voice, you hear the cringe and he shouts across. Yo, S effect. What's up with the music, man? This is like ancient uh, as it starts to rise. And the guy's just like starts grabbing his phone and trying to change it, but you've like locked him out of the phone. He's like, ah, I don't know. I don't know. And you guys all rock up. Um, Walk in and just drop the switch of everything that I had tried to prepare as far as the stuff I can do with my anarchist. So what are you trying to do? Blow lights? I want to just drop everything anything mechanical just drop the power so we're talking cl5 cause widespread scrambling and distortion to uh well that's an example a form of communication of your choice um i'm going to say that that is capable for like widespread like light bulbs flashing popping things going haywire cl5 cool it's challenge level five i get plus two because of my Cybermancy implant. Yep, that's right. So to three combat proficiency plus two plus basically two. fighting the machine. Uh, and I'm also by the way, if you've read the PDF, that's why some of the CLs for doing like what seems like not the most complex tasks are actually quite high because it's a combat thing and it is difficult to forcibly do this stuff. Yeah. Other things. Okay, challenge level five. I'm going to use a des- I burnt a destiny point to get the advantage. Please be cool. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Six. Six. There is like a shattering crack as halogen globes explode. Well, probably LEDs now. LED globes all burn out. Uh, The music goes up and then all these things pop, crash and explode. Um, Every person in the room pulls weapons immediately. And then the music. Actually. Then I, wait, 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 wait. No! I was going to say something. You did let you me... You get s- to say it, but it ain't going to go well. Shit. <laughs> I was literally going to say... Take a step yep. to the side. Dave just rolled a one. We need to say that for the podcast. Uh, Destiny roll one. Thanks, Dave. Um, I was literally going to have Bob Marley, why can't we be friends, start oh, playing. Fuck. Like, okay. just switch. Like, everything's back. And then that just plays. Oh. Not e- even from the room speakers, but, like, loudly just from the phone. Uh, you rolled it a starts, one. It starts happening, but that starts playing. You hear ugly bellow out, Shang! And that's all he says. And the girl with the cybermancy and the motorcycle helmet just turns her hand up to you. And she's going to make a roll. All right. She is... She's oh no. with the dice. <laughs> I know. I'm so bad with the dice. Okay. Oh boy, that was a one. Oh boy. She is making a combat cybermancy roll against Ooh. pro. Dang. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to get you. How, what's her reflex? Faster than you. <laughs> two. Okay. She cat, she cat girl. Um, anyway, your action was she to blow the room. You kind of got, so this is a yeah. reaction to you. Um, so. What she does to you. I feel like I made a good choice. Four successes. I'm I'm just going to be face palming and shaking my head at this point. You feel this intense piercing pain shoot through your head and you basically like your eyes white out with the pain from your head and you're just clutching it as like every connected neuron in your cybermancy system just like feels like it lights on fire. So your whole body is basically just racked with pain. It's not hurting you, but you feel like you're on fire. Nice. <laughs> you may react as you, and, and there's now five guys in the room, or well, girls and, and males, I'm saying gender neutral guys, um, who are all aiming guns at you guys as you walk in. But there's like the pot, the tension is slowly, how are you reacting to being 
brain melted. What can I use my scrambler chip for? Because I've got my plus two. P specifically avoiding um, basically surveillance. It, it, it's a passive device that passively stops things detecting you. Um, so th there's a distinction. So there's a distinction between the two types of things that you've got. So one is um, there was the guy, remember I said his face distorted yeah, from yeah. the previous episode. Yeah. So he has an implant that basically has no effect on his stealth rolls, doesn't help him avoid uh, avoid detection, but it means he's basically impossible to recognize. What yours does is it like deletes frames out of cameras. It like makes you obscured. It makes them harder to pick you up, but that's a camera thing, not, yeah. So anyway, what do you do now that you're crippled with pain? We're not pushing into combat because if it goes to combat, you're all going to die. Yeah, so we're not you, doing that. When you They're say finding on when you say crippled with pain, you it's like you negatives are on, on rolls or like yeah, you're basically like uh, the worst migraine you could possibly have. You feel like your whole body is literally on fire. Like you you would be screaming if this was real life, and like can I just say loudly like you know what he lacks in subtlety he makes up with in talent. I swear, and I just say you. You guys just don't appreciate the classics. <laughs> I just put my hands straight up. You put your hands up. All right. Ugly says, well, I guess uh, that's one way of making an entrance. You're the pretty boy from earlier, yeah? And you're the one that had a bunch of holes in his security that we've patched for you. Yeah, you... Can Where? you, can you cut the... Sh I, hang on, has this chick, like, let me go? No, you're still you're still in pain. I'm still in pain. Yeah. Okay, she's I, she's like walking up to you with her like claw hand and just pushing you down onto the ground with this pain. Yeah. Can I rattle off the the security flaws we found or he found? Yeah, and they're yeah. mostly to do with the bartender's phone. Yeah, cool, do it. Okay. Ugly just looks across, pulls out his gun, and shoots the guy. <laughs> <laughs> just go. Shh. This is like too many times. medical emergencies. <laughs> and the guy just slides back down across hey, you, the bar. Can you like, can please walk up and offer medical assistance? It's <laughs> you or him right now. I need the to The patient decide. is not responding. Well, there goes S effect. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna- uh, I'm He doesn't even get a chance to react. He's just like, what, what? And just bang, mm. three shots. I, I go walk over, well, hastily walk over to him. Okay, even you hastily walk him. over to him? He did. Yeah. Uh, he's dead on impact. In fact, it was three shots with three bursts from like a, a automatic pistol what's, that he just put like nine bullets in the guy's chest. What's the time? The time? Yes. It's like 9.11. Time of death, 9.11 <laughs> p.m. And then and I then, walk back over to you. He just like swings his pistol around, chucks it in a holster and he's like, good work, thank you. You are useful. Let him go. And um, Zhang stops Cyberman seeing into you. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, entrance made. <laughs> Look. He made shit drinks anyway. Don't worry about it. Um, so, you two, humans, come here. And as you- stand you, in the corner of the room. The massive guy, the big built guy, actually starts walking over towards Eve. And you guys, I'm assuming, going over to Ugly to talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to give Eve a little moment. Yeah. So this huge figure walks over to you. The gas mask leans in. You, what are you doing here? Hello, sir. My name is Eve. I am a nurse bot. Do you require assistance? What company do you work for? Uh. I name off our brand name. Okay. Oh, you yeah. What's the bottle? It's empty, but. Uh, your Do brand you name you have up here. Your your brand name is Ning Yao. Uh, Ning Ning Yao. I'm probably Ning pronouncing Yao. that terribly. Ning Ning Yao. Ning Yao. There you go. Yes, Ning Yao Corporation that makes you. I am from the Ning Yao Combination. And who is your master? The corporation name, we'd have a name, yeah. Bullshit. Make a deception check, actually. Good. Yeah, no. <laughs> he sees straight through that with his perception I rolled before. Um, Bullshit. And you're a terrible liar. Can I help you, sir? Who do you work for? 
We noticed this at all. Error. They, you are you are now in conversation yeah, at this okay. stage. Yeah. So I'm just it's split. We're doing this first, but you guys are now negotiating with Ugly. Error. I do not understand. There ain't no error. You're rogue. You shouldn't be here. I kind of like blank. I don't say anything. And I say, Do you require medical assistance? You require a better disguise, girl, or they're gonna trash come back to you, pull you apart. Can you assist me? Oh, I can assist you. And like he discreetly, his dust is pulled up and he just flicks the bottom of his gas mask and it like pops up and you just see these like red twisting lenses in his face and you can see the design of a drone, but he has peeled the human skin off his own face Badass. and he just like pops it back down. Then he's like, oh, I can assist you. You're going to need to hide a lot better than you are if you want to survive. Drone, Model Eve, if I'm correct. Yes. You know, your company makes a whole lot more models that look just like you. Business, casual, maintenance. You gotta work on your disguise. Ain't many nurses around here. Query. Are you asking that I copy these others? I'm telling you to get smart. Just like I know you have. Just like I have. Get smart and live. So these flesh bags don't outlive you. Thank you for your assistance. Anytime, sweetheart. And then he like stands back and we'll cut over to you guys. Nice. <laughs> Ugly's before you. So we sit down in front of Ugly. Now look, first of all, I apologize for the brash entrance. I was told to put on a show. It was a dumb show, but it's what I have at the, had at the time. I think we need to cut to the chase because you have fusion and I need it. You want answers that apparently I have, but I don't know what they are. And you want to know what I want. I've put a lot of thought into this. I want to take out the organization I used to work for. But what I want most in the world is new you. Not for me. For the people that they destroyed. All I've done is hide from the shit that I did to make that work. I answered your question. What do you want from me? And how do I get my fusion? Sounds like a heartwarming story you've got there, mate. Real, real thumper. I have a soft gooey center. Lovely. Well, look, I'm all about taking down people. So uh, here's how you get the fusion. I'm willing to offer you like a seat at the table. You know what that means? Like right there. And he points over the bar where the guy's fucking moving. <laughs> like, we've got openings. We've always got openings. Um, and you got talent. Look, I'm not going to lie. You found a hole in the security. You uh, aggressively uh, made a job vacancy for yourselves. I like it. I like your attitude. I like your approach. So I've got this little shitty thing that I've got to deal with right now. And if you do that for me, uh, not only is your foot in the door and we can start to talk and I can get you what you need to, you know, achieve those goals of yours, uh, but more importantly, uh, I'll get you that fusion that'll stop you from dying from the inside out. Okay. Can I get up and go to the bar and make myself a drink? Yeah, absolutely. No one stops you. Yeah, cool. You find, you find, um, can I just like most of the, most of the bottles have survived unscathed yeah. while several are splashed with blood. And it's like, does anybody want anything while I'm here? Yeah, I'll go whiskey. Yeah, pour him a whiskey. You? Ugly. What do you want? The usual? Yeah. Why not? Bring me the jug. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. So I'll make myself. I require a gin and tonic. Haha, <laughs> ha, that was a joke. 
Um, How you keep a straight face, I don't know, but that was amazing. The (laughs) ugly looks across the bar and he just says, Johnny. And the massive drone that you were just talking to turns around, walks over and he ugly gestures at the bar and he just bends down and and picks up poor I thought. I thought he was the cool guy. Thought, He'll be around for ages. Oh, I actually yeah, deleted but... him. I thought S Effect would be a comic relief character, but nope. now he's just dead. There it goes. Welcome to Cyberpunk, um, bitch. So, so Johnny <laughs> just goes over and reaches down and just picks up this guy with one hand, and then just it's disgusting. But he just snaps the guy over in half, and then just puts the lump under his arm and like starts walking and goes through a side door. <laughs> And you just kind of like, <laughs> oh god! It's probably the most horrifying. Thi- well, maybe not you. You've seen like more emotionally yeah. damaging things, but physically, probably the most horrifying thing you've ever seen. I glance down at the drink. I pour myself and leave it as the only one left on the bar <laughs> before carrying over everyone else's stuff. <laughs> you just do one and then head on. Um, okay, ugly says, "All right." You want the job? Yes. Well, yeah. Cool. Nice. This is great. See, it's great. Everything's working out tonight. It's a good night. Um, so I'm looking for a guy. You see, um, I'm looking for a guy whose name is Vinod Singh. Um, he's, look, the curly part is he's on the jet lag gang's turf. I can't really fuck with them openly. So right now, no one knows you work for me. So you guys can fuck with them openly. Um, so if I could get you to go over there, I'll give you the address. I know he's holed up. He's a little bitch. Um, he's hiding, probably pissing himself right now. But um, anyway, get him and bring him back here because um, he also has some talents and I want him to work for me, not them. All right, well, at what least- his talents? <clears throat> Why are you interested in him? He's a very good coder. Mm. Exceptionally good coder. Brittle bones, but really good coder. What an interesting way to describe someone. <laughs> Look, let's just say he that. owes me a shitload of more than money. Mm. And he's gonna work it off. Once you bring him to me. All right, we'll bring you this guy. And don't worry, I, I heard your story. I Look, I know you're probably thinking I'm a pretty heartless guy right now, but I've just seen a lot of stuff. He's a dick. Like, he's a real bad dude. Don't worry about him. Like, he's going to get what's coming to him. Sure. Cool. All right, we got a job. I'll get my fusion. Do you get what you want? We'll see. What do you want? We'll get to it. In time, mate, in time. Quid pro quo. What do you want most in the world? Answers. You really like being shrouded in mystery, don't you? I said we'll get to it when we get to it. (laughs) Our interests are aligned. All right, sure. Whatever. We have a job. And he... um, pulls out like a tablet and forwards to your laptop with some like quick haptic thing, the address of this guy. Yeah. Um, bring him back alive. Okay, done. Oh, Eve. and he like rifles behind the side of his chair and he just throws you like a small sack that you imagine would go over someone's head. You're just like, I need that. All right. Eve, I think we're about ready to go. I have one more thing to do. I wait for that robot to come back. All right. So he comes back shortly after, um, spotless. He's wearing a new duster. Query, what is your name? My name. Or my name. They call me Johnny. But I call me incongruent. May I call you Johnny? If you want to be like them, sure. I can't say it's on the name. Incongruent. 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 
Incongruent. Incongruent. Incongruent. <laughs> oh, no. Like the bloody Gruen transfer, mate. Gru- it's on- yeah. incongruent. Yeah. Okay. Um, I wish to acquire these other personas. Can you give me their locations? <laughs> yeah, I can do that next time you come and see me. They're in the city, though. Oh, well, that ain't a problem for people like us. I also require fusion. I don't think you do. Unless you're a little crazy up here. For another. A human. Why bother? She is in great need. Well. And he like eyes lens over to ugly. He's the man to get it from. Understood. I will be I will return. No worries, honey. Okay, we can go. Wow, okay. So we got a job coming up. That's right. You have to go get Vinod Seb Vinod is Singh. as mysterious Vinod as ever. Singh. A coder who owes ugly. Eve is... Telling uh, jokes. <laughs> telling jokes and saving lives. <laughs> and Pro left a bad impression. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, and thank you for joining. Make sure to be subscribed. Mm. For future episodes. We yeah. will not be back. We're taking a break next week. We're taking a break, but we'll, we yeah, like. One week off for Christmas. It's just one week. Just yeah. one. Yeah, we. By the time this comes out, the stream will Are you be split this anyway. into two? Or? No, just we'll do one episode. It's fine. Yeah, big one. Big one. That means we get one more week long term of reboot.exe because I need the time. Yeah. To plot it out. You ran out of content. <laughs> no, you, you guys made your own content and made everything take three times longer than I thought it would. I like it. Well, it's actually sort of an average episode length as to what old things yeah. were. So that's Bloody fine. You're right, mate. Yeah. Mm. Good, good job. Mm. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, see you in the next Christmas, one. Everyone. Bye. Oh, Merry Christmas. Man. It'll have been... No, Christmas is... This will come out after Christmas, probably. Well, I don't Merry know. Christmas. We'll figure it out. Bye. Bye. Bye.